Hello, I'm Brett, the Youth and Family Programs Educator at the Milwaukee Art Museum. I'll be showing you an easy way to make your own scratch art board and how to use it to draw a story that won't stop. Our art inspiration comes from a pair of ancient Greek hydrias, or water jars. Just like the pitchers and cups we use today are decorated, so are the ancient Greek hydrias. The first and older method of decorating classical Greek pottery is called black figure. The jar would be made of red clay with the people, animals, and designs painted on with black slip. Slip is a watered-down clay used for coloring and for casting. Details, like you see in the drapery and faces of the figures, were added by scratching through the black slip to reveal the red clay below. Our example also shows a lighter slip that was painted on to add a third color, white. White slip was used to paint women, and black slip for men. The second hydria was created using the red figure style, where you see mostly red figures against a black background. This effect was created by painting the background and details with dark slip over red clay. This hydria will be the inspiration for how we tell our story. You'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, oil pastels or crayons, tape, scissors, a toothpick or a pointy stick, and a flat-sided cylindrical bottle or cup. Smooth paper, such as printer paper, works best, as does oil pastel. Size your paper around your bottle or cup. Tightly wrap it. Make marks with your pencil to show where the edge of your paper overlaps itself. The paper that is under is extra. You'll need to keep about an inch of extra paper. Anything more than that you can trim down with your scissors. You may also want to trim the width of your paper so that it doesn't stick up over your cup or bottle. You can use a marker to add color to your paper. The color you choose will show up when you scratch away your design. Bright colors work best, so I'm using a highlighter. You can experiment with using many bright colors. Next, cover the colored paper with a layer of crayon or oil pastel. Both can be messy, so I laid a piece of scrap paper underneath. Dark colors work best for this layer, so I chose black. This layer will be scraped away to reveal the bright color underneath. Cover as much of the paper as you can, but leave the extra paper clean. This will help later. You can use your fingers to spread the pastel, but make sure your layer is nice and thick. The completed paper is our scratch board. We're going to take advantage of the round design of our water bottles and cups. Our red figure hydrea shows the story of Boreas, the cold north wind. In Wisconsin, we are visited by him frequently. He is shown here with wings. In this story, he is chasing Orithia, the daughter of the Athenian king. He is fond of Orithia, but she does not feel the same way. You can see her running from Boreas on the right. In between them is Athena, the goddess of wisdom, war, crafts, and guardian of Athens, blocking his path. To the right of Orithia, you can see the head of her friend, who witnesses what is happening. The friend is passing the message along, on the back side of the jar, until it reaches Orithia's father, the king. You can see the king to the left of Boreas, with his back to the action. The story stops at the king, but you could keep going around the scene. I imagine the second time around is the story being told to the king after Orithia's friends have finally reached him. My story will also play on repeat. The action will restart itself so the story can go on over and over and over again as many times as you like. My design starts with a decorative pattern on the top and the bottom. You can scratch with your toothpick, a broken pencil tip, your fingernail, or anything that will make a mark through the oil pastel. Different scratchers will make different types of lines. You'll want to brush away the scraps as you scratch. This will keep your artwork and your hands clean. I know that my story will have four characters. I loosely measure and divide my sheet in quarters or fourths. This way I know how much space each character can take up on my paper and I won't run out. My first character is a person running. I scratch the outline of the person and then go back in to scratch larger areas. This will make it look like my person's shirt is a different color than their pants. Uh oh. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is fill in your mistake with your pastel or crayon. It's very easy to fix. You can then go back over and scratch in your corrected design. I keep measuring and dividing my remaining space to make sure I don't run out of space. My next character is a dog. I scratch spots on my dogs in a pink tongue. I make motion lines behind my dog so you can tell it's running away from the person. 
The leash flying in the air shows that it's their pet that got away. Next is my third character, a cat. My dog chases my cat sometimes because she wants to play with him. He doesn't always want to play with her. I wish they were able to ask each other if they wanted to play first. Then I wouldn't have to worry about them getting hurt. I draw the same motion lines to show that the cat is running away from the dog. My fourth and final character is a mouse. Mice are usually scared of cats because they are so small and sometimes they are food for the cat. Some cats just want to play with mice. My mouse is not waiting around to find out. It's running as fast as it can. My person is chasing my dog, my dog is chasing my cat, and my cat is chasing my mouse. Lastly, we'll add our scratch art story to our cup or bottle. We'll do this by adding a few pieces of tape to the clean, extra strip of paper on our scratch board. One piece of tape should face sticky side down, and at least one piece should face sticky side up. I'm taping my scratch art to my bottle so that when I wrap it around, the edges line up and are straight. You can readjust your artwork if it isn't lined up correctly the first time. Once it's lined up, I'll pull it tightly around my bottle and place one long strip of tape along the edge to hold it flat. Now that it's finished, my story is complete, and you can see that my mouse isn't just being chased, it's chasing my person. My story goes around and around and around. These characters never get tired. Share your stories with us on social media and watch our online community grow. Tag at Milwaukee Art and use hashtag MAM Studio at Home. We'd love to see what you've created.